Hello world, it's Siraj, and I've designed a five-step coding tutorial to show you how to build your first machine learning startup, no matter where you live in the world. My demo is a paid mobile app for conservationists that can automatically classify different species of bears. But think of my demo as a template for your own startup. I'll show you how to convert this bear image classifier into an image classifier for any industry you'd like, from retail to agriculture. I built the app in Flutter, my favorite mobile development framework, with a single code base. You can create both an iOS and Android app. I also use Python for the deep learning based web component, Firebase for user authentication, and Stripe as the payment processor. Stripe doesn't work in some countries though, so I'll later explain what some alternatives to it are. Creating a software as a service business has never been easier than it is today. You don't need to own any physical assets or deal with the global supply chain. You just need a laptop that you can code with and an ecstatic dance-based learning plan, but I digress. Machine learning is the hottest software service for businesses today since it applies to every industry. Building an app that provides image classification, a type of machine learning, as a service, is perhaps the easiest way to create a machine learning based business. It's now a widely accepted fact that image classification software now outperforms humans given enough data and computing power. If we can pick an industry where humans are currently performing image classifications, we can automate it, offering a consumer or a business a much cheaper instant solution. Efficiency. For example, PlantSnap is a company founded just three years ago that offers a paid plant classifier app. The app is $20 and has over 350,000 paid downloads, meaning they've earned over 7 million in gross revenue from a relatively easy to recreate service. They didn't even build their own model locally. They used an image classifier API provided by Imaga to train a model on plant data. It took them only one week to launch their mobile application, Startup Hustle Achievement Unlocked. AI Poly is another example. They built a general object classifier as a tool for the blind and visually impaired. They use a freemium model, free to try, but it requires a paid subscription to increase the number of objects it can recognize, providing them with a sustainable, recurring revenue source. Then there's Calorie Mama, a health app that classifies food and instantly provides the user with nutritional information. It also uses the freemium model. Image classification applies to every industry. For education, you can build a tool that classifies math equations. For gaming, you can create a classifier for an augmented reality game, find an item, learn more about it, and complete your quest. For healthcare, you can build an automatic medical imaging diagnosis app. For finance, you can build a classifier for stock trend charts and use the results from it as a technical indicator in a more sophisticated algorithmic trading system. Can you say that again? Just the way you said it convolutional network. Okay, enough with the examples. Let's get started with step one, find a relevant data set. Pick an industry specific task you want to automate and that'll help you decide what kind of image data set you need. Maybe pictures of different types of brain scans or rocks or attractive people. You can find an existing data set by using the Google data set search feature to download it directly from a government institution or personal website. Alternatively, you can look at the associated list of popular dataset repositories that I have for you in the video description. If you end up not being able to find a specific dataset, you'll need to make one manually. Luckily, I found this Google image download Python script that I've attached that will automatically collect, label, and store images from across the web. It can be run locally or in a web browser using Google Colab. Once you have your data set, it's time to perform transfer learning. Transfer learning is when a machine learning model trained on one problem is used in some way on a second problem. There exists convolutional neural network models like MobileNet and ResNet that have already been trained for weeks on huge image data sets to perform image classification. We can download one of those models directly and retrain a part of it on our relatively small image data set. Doing this means we have a very short training time and our model will be very accurate in its predictions since it's combining the generic knowledge it gained from the previous data sets 
with the custom knowledge it gained from our data sets to provide a robust prediction. To perform transfer learning, we need to first install the FastAI Vision Library. FastAI is a research lab that created a self-titled machine learning library built on top of PyTorch. In just a few lines of code, this library lets you build different state-of-the-art modern deep learning techniques fast. The Fast AI library expects your images to be in folders named train for training and valid for validation. Inside each folder will have subfolders, each with a name that represents the label for an image class we have. The dataset we're using for this demo has three different classes, so there will be three different folders. Once we have our data downloaded and ready to go, we can load it using the image data bunch object. Once we have our images, we'll create a model for initial training. Fast AI calls them learner objects, and we can instantiate an existing one called ResNet50, one of the most powerful generic image classifiers available today, to download. It will load the pre-trained weights it's learned from the ImageNet dataset. Most weights are frozen in place, except for the last layer. We'll want to train that one on our new dataset. After training, we can test it out a few times on a testing set of data. Once we're satisfied with the accuracy score, above 95% at least, we can save the model as a pickle file to our Google Drive. We'll generate a download link for it and save it for later. Now that we have our model ready to do some classification, we'll want to sign up for Stripe and Firebase. The Stripe signup process is relatively simple. Enter a few personal details and you get access to a personal dashboard that tells you what your API keys are. You'll want to keep those safe as they're how your app will access Stripe to complete user payments. For Firebase, there is also a relatively simple signup process. Once signed up, you'll click on add project in the Firebase console and create a project. We'll be using the API keys from this project to connect to our mobile app in a little bit. Now on to step four, deploying the web component of our app. FastAI made this impressively simple starter app for instantly creating a web app and API for a given classifier. Fork the associated GitHub repository. Right now it's using a pre-built model that can classify bears. The only change you need to make is where it says download URL. We'll just paste the download URL of the exported model file we trained earlier and replace the classes with the associated labels. Now check out how simple this is to deploy. We can go to render.com, a cloud service for web apps and my new best friend, then register using GitHub. Once connected with GitHub, it'll ask which repository to deploy. Select the forked version of the web app and it will automatically deploy it to the web. Now we can take that link and try out the classifier in real time in the browser. Anyone can access this link. Now we can work on this web component however we'd like, but right now we're just going to use this web component as an API for our mobile app. Our mobile app is going to be the user facing component of our service. And in order to make its predictions, it's going to send image data collected by user cameras to the server. The server will then return the predictions, which we can display inside the mobile app. Once we've got our URL for our working model hosted on the render server, our last step is to connect our Flutter app to it. If you haven't already, download and install Flutter. Then download the associated Flutter sample code I have for you. It's got three basic functionalities, user authentication, payments, and finally, the service of the app image classification. These are all pre-built user interface elements. You'll have to modify three things here. First, you'll want to connect the user login flow to Firebase. In order to do that, go to Firebase and we'll have to click either the iOS or Android icon to generate a Firebase authentication file. Once we have those two files, we'll place them into our Flutter project in their respective locations. Next, make sure to fill in the Stripe card information section with your own Stripe keys found in your Stripe dashboard. If you are in a country that does not have Stripe access, you just need to switch this Stripe checkout code to one for either PayPal, Razorpay, or any number of various payment processors from across the web. Lastly, for the image classification part, just switch the URL with the hosted URL we just created. Now launch the Flutter app in a simulator and you'll be able to sign up 
pay a subscription fee, and then ultimately access the classifier. We can now deploy this app to the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Instructions for both are in the Flutter documentation. There are three things to remember from this video. Automatic image classification is a paid service that you can easily build for a given industry. Transfer learning makes this possible. Just retrain an existing classification model on your own data set. And the way to do this is to use Python, Flutter, Firebase, and a payments processor. The coding challenge for this video is to build a paid image classification service. Submit a link to your app in the submission form that I have for you below. The deadline is in two weeks and I'll announce the winners after that. Good luck, wizards.